Hi, I'm Jason Class, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a whip finisher. This is a very common tool for finishing off a fly. However, when a lot of beginning fly tires look at this, it's a little perplexing. It looks kind of complicated, like it's some kind of complicated uh, surgical tool or maybe a medieval torture device. But once you learn a few tricks, it's actually pretty simple to use and, in my opinion, the best way to finish off a fly. I just want to preface this by saying that some people recommend doing a whip finish by hand, and you can. However, most of us have rough skin or tiny little burrs on our fingers that you can't even see that can fray, damage, or even cut the thread. So I prefer to use the tool. Let's get right to it. Step one, take the hook on top and you're going to catch the thread with it. Now, what I do is think of it kind of like you're throwing a frisbee. Turn the whip finisher so that it's kind of uh, perpendicular to the hook shank, and you're gonna go like this, kind of like you're throwing a frisbee, okay? And you also wanna make sure that you're grabbing the thread or holding it tight with your bobbin so there's tension on the thread. So first, make your frisbee motion, grab the thread with the hook like that. Then, keeping tension on the thread, Bring it up and catch the bottom hook, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Frisbee, and then catch the bottom hook. Now, allow the whip finisher to rotate so that the thread forms a triangle, like this. Okay, let's do that one more time. Frisbee hook, bottom hook, form the triangle. Now all you have to do is you're gonna pull this end of the thread, keeping tension on it, Pull it so that everything slides up right to the base of the hook shank and start winding away from you one, two, three, four times. You can do it four or five times. I find four is usually enough. Now, simply take the whip finisher and tilt it so that the thread slides right off this bottom hook and then take this end of the thread, keeping tension on it, and pull it so that Everything slides right up against the hook shank and then simply back out the top hook. Okay, let's do that again. Hook, bottom hook, triangle, slide, four rotations. Release, slide, back out. 